Fire flash confirmed, please. Captain Hansen, everything okay? Tower, I'm afraid Captain Hansen... Is here. Thank you, Tower. We're ready to depart. What took you so long? <laughs> we were about to leave without you. Sorry, got a bit tied up at the last moment. Now, what do you say we see what these new upgraded engines can do? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Please take note of our safety instructions. Now, are there new... Ever been on Fireflash? <laughs> Don't you worry. Ben Hot Bottomsley will look after you. If you get scared, you can uh, hold my hand. Miss... Uh, I didn't catch your name. I didn't throw it. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, uh, at least mm. we're going in style. Pardon me, Bernard. K.O. here. Hello, Scott. How's it feel, travelling home with the general public? I wish Brains would hurry up and finish his upgrades to Thunderbird S. Well, at least you'll be able to check out his upgrade to Fire Flash while you're on it. <laughs> Excuse me. I can hardly wait. Uh, don't be in such a rush. Grandma Tracy baked you a cake. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Fireflash. I'm Captain Hanson. We'll be cruising at about 75,000 feet today at Mach 5 or better, so we should have you all the way to Sydney, Australia within a few hours. This is London Tower. You are clear for supersonic. Have a fantastic flight. Thank you, Tower. I plan to. Engaging ramjet. <laughs> That's fast. Fireflash. Next European contact will be... What? Fireflash. Do you copy? We've lost you. Fire Flash has disappeared. London Control, this is International Rescue. I picked up your alert about Fire Flash. Please confirm. International Rescue. Yes, it's vanished. Into thin air. Satellite imaging confirms no wreckage, so they haven't crashed. Don't worry, we'll find it. Guys, it's John. Kale's plane's gone missing. What do you mean? We just talked to him. It's literally disappeared. We can't find it. There's no indication it crashed, so no need to panic. Have you ever seen me panic, Thunderbird 5? Figure of speech. I'm trying her communicator now. Ah, new engines seem to be working well. I'm going to go stretch my legs. Do you need anything? I've got everything I need. So then, Miss... Kirano. Uh, Kirano. You probably don't know this, but uh, from what I hear, this new hypersonic engine That's is a odd. real game changer. Pardon me? But why are we changing course? I'm sorry? The sunlight coming into the cabin is shifting, indicating we're changing course from southeast to east. Why is that? Uh, will you excuse me? John, it's K.O. Can you do me a favor and check Fire Flash's flight path? No signal. Hansen, have we changed course? Just avoiding some weather. At our altitude? What's going on? Nothing for you to worry about. What? <laughs> have a nice nap. Well, I wasn't going to do this until later, but... Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Our instruments are indicating a depressurization in the cabin, so please put your oxygen masks on... It must on be those new engines. On the ground, oh, yeah. I know what depressurization feels like. This isn't it. And turbulence at 75,000 feet? Not thinking clearly. Don't put on that mask, Don't Bernard. Worry. Something's wrong. The moment you pass out from lack of oxygen, I'll put your mask on for you. out cold and the captain up to no good. This isn't exactly normal. 
And neither is this thing. Thunderbird 5, it's Fireflash. You there? There you are. We have a situation aboard the plane. You've been invisible for the last half hour. Invisible? You're back on visual and radar now. You had us worried. Must be some kind of cloaking device. Listen, this is weird, but Hansen has hijacked his own plane. He used the oxygen mask to knock everyone out. It's not Captain Hansen. They found the real Captain Hansen just a few minutes ago tied up in a crew locker. Well, if it's not Hansen, then who is it? Someone in disguise steals a high-tech plane. Who do you think? They're hurt. Kale, get out of there now. Easier said than done. He found Ko's plane? Yeah, but she's in trouble. The hood is in there. Time to deploy? F.A.B., little brother. I'll intercept in Thunderbird 1. The rest of you wait here until we pinpoint their destination. We don't want you on a wild goose chase. He doesn't actually expect us to wait here, does he? Whoever is piloting Fireflash, this is London Tower. We have found the real Captain Hansen. Why have you taken the plane? What do you want? A wise man once said that happiness consists not of having what you want but wanting what you have. And I have the plane, which makes me happy. Goodbye. Now, how did that transmission come through? A wavelength disruptor. It seems we have a light sleeper on board. So, where is the saboteur trying to sabotage my sabotage? Surrender now, I won't hurt you. Too badly. Come on, K.O., pick up. Your timing is terrible. You'll lead the hood right to me. Give me 15 seconds and call back. Surprised it's you. Ruining your plans is the best part of my job. Oh, did that hurt? Want some more? Well, we'll try this. Why does everyone else get to have the best toys? You're after the new engines. Rather than go through a bunch of tiresome corporate espionage, I just decided to take the whole plane. That's not gonna happen! Quite a chip of field block. You leave my family out of this! Don't you mean our family? It's high time you stopped this hero nonsense and came to work for me! Not now, not ever. Your cloaking device is shot. Everyone knows where we are. International rescue is on their way, and when we land, the Global Defense Force will be waiting for you with handcuffs. Well, that's certainly not gonna happen. And who's gonna land this thing? You? Yes, me. <laughs> with damaged avionics and a leaking fuel line. I've lost the plane, but international
National Rescue is going to lose so much more. Good luck with that landing. Thunderbird 5, you there? I have a situation. Satellite readings indicate you're still at Mach 5, headed east. Much further north than you should be. Thunderbird 1, I'm sending you her position and projected route. On an intercept course now. What about the hood? He got away. I will load the GDF to his last known position. What's the status of the passengers? Oxygen's now feeding the emergency masks. Passengers should be waking up soon. Fire flash, I suggest you adjust your course back south. <laughs> Negative. I'm leaking fuel and need to put this thing on the ground. We need to find you a landing strip long enough to handle fire flash. Got one. It's a decommissioned spaceport in the Gobi Desert. I see it. I'm disabling autopilot and dropping down to subsonic speed. Good luck. She's cruising at 10,000 feet, airspeed of 300 knots. Thunderbird 1 is over the Gobi. On my scopes, 1. You should have visual contact with Fire Flash in 5, 4... Contact! I'm just going to perform a flyby to make sure there's no visible external damage. Everything looks okay. He should be coming up on that landing strip. FAB. Looking good, Fireflash. Deploying landing gear. Should have had you check the landing gear first. It was my responsibility. Can you lower the landing gear manually? Afraid not. The co-pilot's still out cold after his encounter with the hood. I'm the only person on the plane awake. Oh, never mind. Uh, guys, not so good news. My fuel tanks are really low. Maybe 10 minutes left. Can you put her down without landing gear? Empty the fuel tanks, make the plane lighter. There might be relatively little collateral damage. The hood punctured a fuel tank in the cargo hold. All that fuel is in the belly of the plane. A spark there could turn fire flash into fireball. Oh, we need Thunderbird too. They'll never get here in time. Actually, we left right after you. Sorry, Thunderbird 1. Didn't really feel like waiting. Well, it's a good thing you did. Now, we don't have a moment to spare. Alan, Gordon, can you configure a couple of pods as landing gear? FAB! for touchdown. F-A-B. now. You're coming in way too hot. Try and slow
slow down to just above stall speed. Yeah, these pods aren't exactly built for racing. We're not even sure if they can match your speed. Work on your confidence building skills, boys. Raise the pads. Alan, move two meters to your right. Gordon, you need to gain four meters on Alan. John, we need another plan. Now. There's no time. I don't even have enough fuel to make another attempt at the runway. Oh, no. I'm going to try and ditch it in the desert. At least you guys won't get hurt. What about the fuel in the belly of the plane? I know. Look, if I don't make KO. it... K.O. No way. No, K.O. K.O. No. Quiet down. Anyway, if I don't make it, I just want you to know I appreciate you all coming to my rescue. I may not have started life with five brothers, but... Now just hold on a minute, K.O. No, Virgil. Maybe the desert sand will stop the no, sparks. No, seriously. You need to hold on to something. Ladies and gentlemen, we appear to have taken a detour. Uh, are we, uh, <clears throat> are we there already? Uh, where's that girl I was helping? Great job, everyone. Ko, those people owe you their lives. What about the hood? He got away again. He'll get what's coming to him. Besides, you stopped his plot to steal the plane, and we did save all the passengers. Sounds like a win to me. Well, I know one thing. I'm never flying commercial again. Yeah. Of course, we still have a problem. How is Virgil going to get Fire Flash back to London? Seriously, how are you going to get it back? Uh, a really big rope? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs>